Well, welcome back. Uh, my name is John, if you don't know that already, and uh, I'm really happy to host you here on another one of our YouTube uh, tips. Uh, what we're trying to do today, what I thought we should do as a starting point of our work, is understanding the first foundation, what I believe is the first foundation of a good ball strike. And so what I mean to say with all of that is before you go into your grip and your alignment and your posture and all of that stuff, you really just want to pay more attention to the, the tool you have and what we're trying to do with it. And my argument is going to be that what we're really trying to achieve with this tool, with this stick, with the weight on it, is we're gonna to try to compress a golf ball. And so we're gonna do that quite capably when we keep things in a more miniature sense. We're just gonna take little swings and make sure that we take a nice little squeeze of the ball. So what we're really looking to do here is capture the ball and then the ground. And this is a key first foundation of what we're trying to do with the stick. We're trying to swing the stick in such a way that we can capture the ball on the way down and then smash into the ground. So the lowest point of our swing will happen just after we make contact with the golf ball. So it'll look like this, tiny little swings, but making sure that we're getting that compression. And so again, the first foundation is going to be that we have to compress the golf ball. Whatever it takes to do that is going to be our starting point. And so a really, really excellent drill for this is to just use really simple tools. I've got two tees in my pocket here. And what I'm going to do is I'm essentially going to create goal posts on either end of these balls. And the reason I'm going to do that is now at the end of this cycle, I'm going to be able to get good intel, evidence of where in fact my lowest point is. The lowest point will be the deepest part of my divot or the existence of a divot in the first place. And so I'm going to try to take divots that happen just after these tees, and the ball is going to get in the way of that. And when I do that successfully, I'm going to create compression, and now I've got control of the spin of the ball. And the game of golf really is born in that moment. Everything else after that is going to be extraneous to this centerpiece, which is I'm going to swing in such a way that I've got ball, ground, and a nice divot. So what we see here quite clearly with the evidence on the ground, if I was Sherlock Holmes doing some detective work, I would see that there is evidence of a bruising that happened after the ball. So the first foundation of the golf swing is that we need to return the club in such a way that our club is going to hit the ball on the way down to a lower point. The reason this is so important as a starting point is because so many of us take the stick, look at the bottom of it and wonder how we're going to get a ball up in the air. What we fail to see is that the stick is equipped in such a way that it's actually going to shoot the ball up because of loft, even though we're going down. And in fact, it's critical that we go down, which is kind of counterintuitive in the early stages. So we're trying to be excellent at returning the club to the same point on the ground all the time, which is just past the ball. So for example, as we get a close up of what the impact will look like, you'll see quite clearly that I'm going to return the stick in such a way that it hits down on the golf ball. And so then when you take a trip back to look at our divot pattern that we've left, we've left evidence on the ground. And if we, for instance, put a club down where the balls were, we can see quite clearly, number one, precision at the point I entered. I enter in the same place all the time. So my swing needs to be such that I can return to the same place. And then secondly, the key foundation, which is that place is going to be just after the ball. And so, Really what this is, and when I work with players in the early stages, we're definitely going to go through this material because it's critical to the strike of the golf ball. Every decision we make with our golf swing after that is all going to be predicated on the fact that this remains. Everything I'm deciding to do with my grip and my stance and my posture and the length of swing is all to make this easier. And the easier I can do this, the more control I have over the golf ball and now the game of golf comes to life. Thank you.